Hi, David here from Lancaster Automart A to B, and here we've got a 2017 67 plate Hyundai Tucson. It's a 1.6 diesel, it's a TGDI Sport Edition. What I'll be doing in this video is just showing you around the features of the vehicle and showing you some of the condition items such as alloys, your wings, front bumpers, stuff like that. So, first place we'll start is just with the driver's side rear wheel. As you can see, really tidy all around the edge there. It's a nice diamond cup design as well. And then as you come down the side of the vehicle, you see the bodywork's nice and tidy. We've got these really nice running boards down the side, some tinted windows and roof bars along the top. And with it being a sport edition, you've also got a little badge signifying that just on the side. So as we move around onto the driver's side front alloy, again, very good condition. There's a very tiny, tiny amount of curving just on that little section there. But again, you're not going to spot it from any more than about a foot away. Then moving around the front, you've got four parking sensors along there, just to make parking a little bit easier. Really nice front end design, if you ask myself. Quite nice and simple. Very uncluttered look. Then onto our passenger side, front alloy. So nine times out of 10, this will be the worst alloy. As you can see, there's a little bit of wear and tear, nothing too bad again though. And then, down the passenger side of the vehicle again. Body works really, really tidy. And then onto our fourth alloy. This one here, very good condition again. So onto the very rear then, we've got four more parking sensors. So it's four at the front, four at the back. We've also got this sort of, wouldn't call it a rear diffuser, but sort of a scuff plate. Stops you taking any paint off if you go off roading in it, for example. And then, if the parking sensors aren't quite enough for you, you've also got reverse camera just there. So, I'll just pop the boot open just to see what kind of space is available. So, I have put down one of the seats already. So, they actually lock into position. So, once they're down, you do actually have to go back around and use the lever to get them up again. So, it'll stop them bouncing around or moving anything you've got lying over them. But as you can see, there's plenty of space in there. You've also got a pulley style load cover. So you can just move it out of the way quickly. You just pop it out there and away you go. Then underneath the boot floor, you do have a full size spare. And you've also got two sort of paint sticks there. So, well, one's lacquer, one's paint. So nice to have that in the vehicle. So again, really nice and large. So we'll move into the rear. See what the back seat space is like. So, as you can see, you've got a little bit of storage behind each of the seats. There's a fair amount of legroom in there. And that seat is as far back as it goes as well. So, with it as far back as it goes, there's still room for an adult behind. So, if you've got it in a reasonable seating position, you know, maybe not quite the max it'll go, you should have a fair amount of legroom through the back. You've also got two cup holders in the armrest in the rear and two climate vents as well, just to keep your passengers comfortable. Moving on into the very front then. So you do get electric windows all around and folding wing mirrors, so you can either have them manual or auto with that one there. Then got full electrical adjustment on the seat. And then there's a little sort of safety panel here. If I don't drop the keys, there we go. Safety panel here, and you've got, so it choose your vehicle, stability control, and lane departure warnings. What I'll do here is I'll just start the engine up as well, just so you know it is nice and healthy. And yeah, I'll just turn the radio down as well. So the mileage there, 27,341, which is pretty reasonable considering it's now a five-year-old vehicle. So definitely done less than 8,000 miles a year average. So onto the features around the wheel then. So you've got all your sort of cruise settings over on this side. Over on the left-hand side is all your audio shortcuts and your phone settings. Then got automatic lights and automatic wipers so quite a lot's taken care of for in here for you over to the center console so we've got radio as you'd expect you've got fm am and dab you do have media so it's telling us the device isn't available but if you look just down here you do have auxiliary input and usb we've also got bluetooth audio we've also got you can just have the map or nav open but seeing as we're not going anywhere we'll just open that but navigation's nice and simple i'll just press the button anyway so you can see how it all works, nice and straightforward. And then you've also got a dedicated phone button there. Again, no device is paired, but that's going to 
fairly straightforward again. If you want to do that, you just go into home, well, settings, and then into Bluetooth, and you can power a device. Then moving on, you do get dual zone climate control, so you just turn synchronize off, and then they both move independently. Just have them on sync for now. You do also get heated seats in this model, so they have three, three heat settings there. And then just underneath, you've got two 12 volt power outlets, nicely mounted, one for the passenger, one for the driver. Moving down a little further, then you've got your drive mode. So we've got normal or sport, so we'll leave it on normal for now. Then you've got your hill descent control and your parking sensors, which are currently switched off. Then you've got six speed manual gearbox, which is really nice to use. And the steering is quite light as well, so it doesn't feel heavy and cumbersome, it feels quite nice and nippy. Might be something to do with it being a sport sort of addition, but very nice to drive either way. Then you've got a nice manual handbrake, two cup holders, one a little bit bigger, one a little bit smaller. And then you've got quite a lot of storage in the centre console, alongside in the buff compartment. So if there is anything that I haven't covered in this video, or any extra info you'd like to know, don't hesitate to get in contact, we'll see what we can do to help. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.